What's up, everyone? This is the Destroyer 229, and welcome back to Let's Play Jet Force Gemini. Last time, we got through all that we... almost all that we needed on the SS Anubis and got ourselves our second ship piece. In this episode, we're back at Tofret. Now, we didn't collect all the tribals the first time we came here, so I already cleared out the area. There are two tribals over there, if you will recall. But there are also some zombie drones. So we're going to go all the way over here. Kill these zombie drones. This is a lot easier when you have multiple homing missiles. And there's a third one. Alright. Taking care of all three. Can safely rescue the tribals. And right here was where our health expansion was. So yeah, there's a little bit of review here in case you completely forgot where the tribals were here on Talfret. You do have to come here as Juno. Juno is the only character who can come and get all the tribals in this area. Unless you did not get the crowbar you did not get that hippie guy's pants if you did not get the hippie guy's pants and thus the crowbar then you will have to come with whichever character has that and that had the grenades we do not need that um I believe there are some tribals here I also saw that there was was there an ammo expansion? I thought behind one of these graves there was an ammo expansion that I forgot to get. I saw it real quick through editing. Aha! For shotgun. Okay. Yeah, because I saw that. It flashed by really quick during editing. And I'm wondering, well, wait. That's an ammo expansion. Why didn't I go get it? Nah, there wasn't anything special. Alright, I believe there are tribals here. Yay! Nice. And those are the only ones that... That's the only tomb, I think, that has tribals. Now, with the crowbar, we can actually go in to this... Try to say spot and area at the same time. We can go into this spot with the trap door. Ah, oh, great. It's all dark. I can barely see anything. Um, no crypts or anything. I don't think there's anything you need to blow up. Oh, shoot! That's right. I completely forgot about this. Well, first there's a tribal right there. There's a life force door as well. With another tribal. But... What we have here is basically an ancient burial ground. There are a ton of doors here. Most of them contain drones. However, some of them contain tribals. So you've got to be very, very careful. See what each one contains if it's a drone shoot it if it is a tribal don't shoot all right what's in here drone zombie drone too give me that head that is fire I thought that was full life for a second thinking well wow, that's awfully generous Floyd will help you out though I believe this one he will often tell you if which if there is a drone nearby. So pay close attention to Floyd as well. Though apparently he's not going to be right all the time. You know what? Don't listen to Floyd. Just look at your instincts. The drones take a while before they shoot. So don't just instantly have an itchy tr trigger finger. 
keep your hand away from the Z button until you fully see what's inside. Okay, I'm stuck on a ledge. There's a dry ball. Alright, so that just leaves the one there, which means that the other doors here must contain zombie drones. Alright, one more. Ow, oh, that actually hurt a little. So now the Life Force door is open, and we can save the tribal! Hooray! And we've got all the tribals in this first area of Tawfret. Now there's only two areas of Tawfret, here and the next one. So that's all the tribals here, but there's still one more thing we can do here. So... I'll meet you guys when we reach it. So we're here on the bridge. And we are suddenly Vela! Oh my gosh, how did that happen? Well, in any case, in these underwater areas, the bridge has quite a few of them. You see these bubbles, that means that there's some place you can enter. See, I believe here is just a bonus statue. Yep. So another bonus statue right there. But that's not why we came what we came here for. I'm not here to get all the bonus statues. If you really want one, then you're also gonna have to come back here as Lupus. Because there's a bonus statue across the edge of the end platform. The last platform you go on to. But like I'm saying, like I've said, I'm not getting all the bonus statues. Oh crap, Gauntlet. No, what we want is to be in the area with the tree. If you remember the tree where the hippie guy had his pants with all the rhino drones, that is where we want to be. There's something there that is very important that only Vela can get. So I'm just going through the gauntlet. Surprisingly doing very well. And aw, oh, that's... Haha, <laughs> a robot died! I don't even know what it was. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what's coming after me, but I'm not turning around to find out. But invincibility. If I can maybe kill these freaking robots. Did I get them all? I don't believe so. Duh. No, I missed one. I missed another one, apparently. Oh, there it is. I see it. I see it. He's blending in with the background. Uh, just machine gun ammo. Do, 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 do. Now, I think this one was the rhino drones in the water. Yep. This is where we want to be. So we're just going to skip on by these rhino drones. We're going to go underwater where it's relatively safe. And where we want to go is underneath this bridge and on the other side of the tree. I think. There it is. Oh, hey, I apparently lied about the bubbles being a secret entrance. It is true of some of the times, just not all the time. But anyway, we can go in here. And it's the hippie guy again. Hello, you met my brother once. Jeff Force have saved the galaxy and found my pants. What a team. Can I shoot you? Here, I've got some groovy stuff for you. This is from that rusty old ship of Jeff's. Just don't ask me to install it. Techno fear, man. Why the crap would you have one of Jeff's ship's pieces? Seriously. 
Well, whatever. Hippie Pants Guy gives us another shit piece. So, there you go. There's our third shit piece. Right there. Now, that's all that there is to do here on Toffret. We've got all the tribals. Both on the... Well, in all three areas. I completely forgot about the castle. We got all the tribals in all the areas, and there's nothing more to do here. We are completely done with Tallfred. But I feel like there's this episode's kind of shorter than some of the other ones. So, there's one more thing that I want to do. And technically, I'm going in order because where we're heading next is my is in Mizar's palace. So we're just going to get out of Tafra and I'll meet you guys back there. Back at Mizar's palace, there's something that we can do here. Now, if I can just find the right spot. Ah, there it is. We have to go in this direction. You'll remember that during our Floyd mission, we saw that there was a power gem right up there. Well, if we go down this way, there's actually some place we can explore. What this place is... Oh my gosh, it's another pyramid! Nah, but this one doesn't contain Mizar. Has a few Mizar tokens. And a platform that normally we couldn't get to, but with our jetpacks, we can. 26 fuel, really? That's a bit generous. And when we get up here, we have ourselves another platform. Just like Lupus's night vision things. These are special platforms. What they do is that they will transform either Juno or Vela into a drone. Yes, these are drone platforms. So now we can blend in with Mizar's troops. These things are only existent in two places in the game, this being one of them. What's also interesting is that Vela as a drone is a normal blue drone, whereas Juno, if we ever see his later, which if my planning is correct, we will, he looks like a sniper drone. But down here, we get a brand new area. Whoa, whoa, what the? Okay. Aw, we're blocked off. I want to go through the doors! I want to shoot the doors! Aw, alright. Well, I guess we're gonna have to leave and- Ooh, let's steal a race car. Yes, in case the- Double flags to have include you in. This is a racing portion of the game. So while we're here, we can move around in this race car. And for whatever reason, we have our default health and pistol. Moving forward allows us to move forward. Sides around allow us to turn. Hitting A is a boost. B is brake and for whatever reason, we can aim with R, but we can't shoot. So I'm pretty sure Z will allow us to use any sort of weapons. So, what this is, is exactly what you think. It's a racing section of the game. Jet Force is not only a shooter, but there's also a racing minigame in here. Now this is actually required because if you can get in first place, you get a ship piece. That is your reward. 
So we're gonna see if we can't try to get that ship piece. Ah. All right, going out of the gate pretty good. Yeah, come on. Okay, oil slick. There are two weapons here. Green gets you oil slick. Red gets you a bomb. All right, come on. Ah, freaking wall. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Avoided those bombs there. That was lucky of me. And... Oh! Right, come on. You can only carry one weapon at a time, though. So, getting more than one only just screws over the other racers. Come on, you stupid... How many boosts do you have? Seriously. Right, and, uh, boost! Darn it. Oh, darn, darn it. Get back here. Get back here. All right, that's the second lap. This is the final lap. Ah, darn it. Freaking piece of crap. Come on. Come on. Yeah. I don't have any more boosts, though. Ha <laughs> ha. Take that. All right, we're almost there. We're almost there. We're at the final race away. The final, maybe, possibly, we got us a boost. Hit A to boost, and we did it. <laughs> Minute 38, and our prize, one of the 12 ship pieces. Hooray, fireworks too. Yes, glorious. And that's all we can really do, so now we have to return the ship to its rightful spot. Aww. And so that's pretty much it. You can't really do anywhere else. If you try to exit out of that one period pyramid as a drone, it won't let you. The door is closed. It closes behind you whenever you turn into a drone. So you can only be a drone in this section. Which means we can't really shoot anything too. Which is saddening. But as a drone we also can't use our jetpack. Thankfully for us, the pad lowers down. So now we get to turn back into Vela. Alright. Get some more Mizar tokens. And I'm going to say this right now. I'm actually recording this before I do any work on what happens after Mizar. <laughs> so, yeah. I haven't even explained to you guys exactly what my plan is. Even though you probably know what it is already. <laughs> I don't know why I took a knee right there. <laughs> Um, just because I could, I guess. So, next time on Let's Play Jet Force Gemini, <laughs> we're going to continue our exploration to the various planets in search of those ship parts. Until then. 